Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please know these are unlike any other kind of reading. It's not an astrological reading. It's not really a tarot reading. It's not a psychic reading. Angelic realm messaging is very different. They do not go against your free will. They come in and give you messages that you can experience. So if you come in and you just, you are not in touch with your heart, you're not in touch with any other energy part of you, and you just overthink everything, you're going to come in and go, what does that mean? Huh? What? <laughs> and you may want to even dismiss it. They bring messages in so that you experience it and they are not interfering with your free will. So that's what you're going to get. And what's going to happen is once you get a reading, first of all, you're going to feel their presence. Once you walk away from that, you're still going to be get, getting messaging for a while to come. And instead of being told what you need to do, you suddenly get inspiration. It comes from the depths of your soul and you understand on a soul level which direction you need to go in. What is the next step? It might come with breaking down um, an old perception, an old way of thinking of things, so an old way of approaching things because you see yourself differently. That's what the angels do for us, okay? <laughs> yes, they will give you warnings. Um, if someone says, I don't know, I'm doing this or this, and if it won't interfere with your human free will, meaning you've already basically made the decision, you're just doubting a little bit, they can give you confirmation. They can give you validation. They will not tell you what to do. And if you think that that's a bad thing, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. Because what we're coming into, you're going to be a puddle on the floor crying and wondering, why does life treat me like this? <laughs> Instead of being empowered enough to handle it and go, okay, I see it, but I trust myself to get through it. Okay? Anyway, let's get a card. Oh, and check the, did I say this already? Check the description box for upcoming lives. Make sure you get tickets for those. A lot of people have missed the boat. I've done special ticket pricing for $3 and 33 cents and people are just always assuming oh I can't afford it and they miss the deal so at least check it out and see if it's something that could be beneficial for you okay don't just assume that everything is like two thousand dollars or something like <laughs> with my stuff it's not that okay so what do we have we have crucifixion every time again there's a book to this and I've read it but I like to go with what this sparks in the moment this feels so much and this is probably not what's in the book I haven't read it in a while but this just feels like people crucifying themselves playing victim so that people will fawn over them you know the type hey remember that thing you said to me two months ago well I know it was a compliment but I've been thinking about it and it hurt my feelings and now you owe me an apology Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Okay. Um, there's that. Now, on a more serious, so there's that's one level of messaging. In a more serious way, we are seeing this with events happening around the world. And so there, we're being asked to have awareness and stop giving our energy to these little, what can I call them? What are we going to call them? Little minions? Aren't those those little yellow pill looking guys? <laughs> With the goggles? Maybe not that. I don't know. What do we call the people who are fake? The narcissists who are trying to play the victim all the time. Let's come up with something good. <laughs> oh, Lord. I will run to the comments on this one. But, yeah, this is, um, there are real things going on. People are being crucified and murdered, okay? We have to really really be aware it's it's not fun and games anymore we can't be just giving our energy away to some person who's just always looking to be the center of attention and then we're drained and then we hear about these things on social media or in the news and we're like oh, I can't listen to that <laughs> these are real things happening real human atrocities 
and you can't listen to that because you're just so drained. And if you don't like that I'm mocking, you're the person I'm talking about. The only people who get triggered by what I'm saying are the ones we're talking about. And surprise, surprise that they would be upset, right? So where does your energy go? Does your energy go towards ruminating towards an ex who was probably super duper toxic? And then you hear something serious going on. You're like, oh, I'm just so tired. I just, I can't handle that. Okay. Then I, like, I'm bringing out all my chins for that one. No. No, stop. And you know what, people? People who keep doing that, let them go off and be on their on their own side of the planet, maybe. Or I don't even know. Like, we've, we've got bigger fish to fry. And we can't be messing with that. So you got to know... What that looks like. Cool? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.